Welcome to this week's EMBN show. We got a great show lined up for you this week. Steve's our pivot checking out their new bike. Yeah, and it looks very nice. And of course, we've got some cool tech, uh, tires, tire pressure tech, and of course, the bike vault and all the normal fun. It's all coming up on the show. Elephant in the room, Steve's not here. So where is he, Chris? He's out of pivot and apparently they've got a new bike. So let's throw it to Steve and check it out. Hello, welcome to Kitzbühel in Austria. And folks, I have some genuinely exciting news for you on the e-mountain bike front. And the confirmation actually, that yes, lightweight e-mountain bikes are very definitely a new category. This year, we're probably gonna see a lot more lightweight e-bikes on the market, but I've just descended a proper World Cup downhill track. I mean, it was, it was trailing places, but this is the all new Pivot Shuttle SL, and it proves to me that you can actually have a shorter travel bike if you've got the geometry and the suspension kinematics and tune to match. Um, but the big, big news on this bike, you might have seen the, the factory tour of Fazua in Munich a few days ago on the channel. If you've not done that, please check it out. But the big news is the all new Ride 60 system. Now it is quite different, believe me, it is quite different from the old Evasion system, which we rode in the rocks of the South of France a few years ago, and also very different to the current Ride 50 system. And the reason for that is an increase in torque. We've now got 60 newton meters and a maximum watts of 450. But it's how it rides. It's, this is the bike that I think, yes, I probably could ride steep single track trails, you know, some technical trails on a bike with a lower torque. And part of that reason is obviously the power, but also it's got this mode on it. Let me tell you about the three modes first. It's basically got um, breeze, river, and rocket. But if you hold the button upwards on the controller, it actually gives you a boost for 12 seconds. And you know what? Sometimes when you're doing a technical climb, you see a break a slope and you need that extra oomph and that definitely gives it to you. Um, in terms of some of the details on this bike, we've got a very, very minimalist uh, kind of front of house, the top tube and the controller. The controller for me does it. It's possibly one of the easiest to use controllers on the market because you, you don't have to look at it. You simply sort of feel your way into the, into the mode changes as you're riding the hill. I love the fact that it's got the integrated display on the top tube there. You can see the mode, you can see uh, your battery consumption. And Fazua's mindset on this is that because it's center of the bike, it's actually in your field of vision. If you think about it, if you've got a display which is kind of left or right of the handlebar, it kind of distracts you off your line, but when it's in the center there, it's, it's, it's bang on. Um, what a bike. We've got more bikes with the Fazua Ride 60 coming on the channel. Uh, we've got a few more which is which are slightly more travel, maybe slightly leaning towards the sort of enduro all mountain side of the, of the picture. Exciting times folks, really exciting times and uh, I'm so happy to have ridden, a, for me, a fresh trail here at Kitzbühel. Um, routes, jumps, beautiful corners, rocks, fantastic views of the Kaiser Mountains in the background, beautiful weather, great food, and of course, some tidy beer. Thanks for joining us. What do you reckon to that bike then, Mark? Is it the future? What do you I, think? I think the lightweight route is really, really great. My son rode one recently in Bentonville and he fell in love with it. So it was the best bike he's ever ridden. That was, that was a specialized SL, but I feel like, yeah, that lightweight route in, could be the future. I think silhouette, the future. Of the, silhouette of those bikes as well. You can hardly tell that thing's even an e-bike, can you? It looks just like a mountain bike. So yeah, yeah, good things. Right, time then for a bit of news. Right, news is new tyres from Pirelli. Obviously F1, MotoGP experience. These guys are in mountain biking now. More importantly, e-bike tyres. Yep. Um, Chris, they have got Three tires in the range. Mm -hmm. Got a soft, mm -hmm. a rear, and then a mixed terrain tire. What yeah. do you think? Oh yes, this mixed terrain tire has seen actually big changes for 2023. It's got a different compound on there, more aggressive tread pattern, and they've been working on the side walls. They do the pro wall compound and the hard wall version of this. So the hard wall version is that uh, tire is going to take all those big hits that you're going to get on your e mountain bike, coming in a load of different sizes and widths, compounds as well as you mentioned earlier, 
and coming in at good value, coming in at 69.99 for these tires. So if you're looking for a bit of a different option from all the regulars, your Maxxis, your Michelin, that stuff, I think Pirelli should definitely be one to be looking at. Yeah, you ridden them yet? Not yet, but I'm looking cannot forward wait. to it. Yeah, cannot so, wait to yeah. see what you think. Yeah, yeah. Um, next up, we're gonna be taking a little bit of look at some air pressure technology. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure we need this, Chris, but tell me about it. Yeah, so this is called the Air Assistant. So this is a little Bluetooth module and a valve that you put inside your rim, and it's gonna monitor your tire pressure, much like you get on those expensive cars. I'm not sure about this, because what do you think? I don't think we really need this. It's next level tech, I think, and it actually connects to the display on your bike and actually show you how much tire I'm not Joe, you've what, got. Joe, what are you thinking? You convinced? <laughs> <laughs> Good little I'm not there. sure. Yeah. I'm not sure. But it's, I think it's, it's clever. It's, it's cool, clever. isn't it? And it'll let you know about a drop of even 0.1 psi. Mm. Yeah, see, I said set. clever, you said cool. I said it's, it's clever, and you said it's cool. If you get a slow bump on clever. the go, we burp a tyre, it's just going to let you know. So Yeah, but you'd safety. know anyway, wouldn't you? Because you would have a flat tyre. Next level tech, though. It's got to be a step forward. Maybe. Maybe not. <sighs> about a step forward as likely as I'm to <laughs> step forward. Well, how about this for a step forward? How about Kurt Voorhees on his e-bike? Oh, love this. Towing this trailer around with a mobile ramp on the back. Loads of uh, street spots. Kind of the thing, oh, I want to do this video as well. Yeah, I feel like you. It, it was very similar riding to your style. And I mean, that boy can still ride. Throwing bar spin to oh, wall ride. So That's good. pretty next level, isn't it? Yeah, it is really good. And the idea of towing that ramp around, yeah. brilliant. It's a great hack. We had it in the dirt shed, and uh, I think it's one of the best hacks we've seen. I think I'm definitely going to get on that vid soon, be loving to do that on the e-bike for sure. He wouldn't sure. mind, would he? Nah, he wouldn't mind. Nah, let's do it. Right, it's time to go, where are we going? Out and about. Oh, yeah, here we go. Um, and we're gonna start with Rick and his 22 SW Levo. Wow, it's a good looking look bike, at this. isn't it? Look um, at... What is all that stuff that he's towing around though? So this has got donated to them by their local trail building crew. Um, okay, Look yeah. at it, the amount of kit they've got going on there. That is a lot of kit. Battery chainsaws, got drills going on, spades, rakes. Serious drills. About, yeah, about 10 different batteries as well to power all this stuff. So looks like the ultimate trail building kit, doesn't it? Definitely. Um, next up, we've got Ricardo's 2022 Giant out in the Pentland Hills in Edinburgh. That looks amazing, doesn't Stunning, it? Stunning, doesn't it? That looks beautiful. The grass on those hills. Ooh. Never been out there riding. That's that one for the uh, bucket list, that's for sure. And lastly, we've got this amazing video in from Timothy. He's out on uh, oh. Zero Uno Adrenaline 3 out Come in Alaska. On. Look at that. So he's sort of self-droning himself. Yeah, I was going to say, clever. he must have a drone. I want to get one of those drones that mm. kind of follows you down. Because, yeah. yeah. I mean, shots like this look absolutely amazing. With that backdrop, that trail, Yeah. that's what e-biking's all about, isn't yeah. it? Getting out there exploring that. I guess we've just got to ask, would the drone want to follow you? I don't know. Would it be fast enough? <laughs> Probably <laughs> not. <laughs> but we love seeing all your videos and your pictures here on EMBN, so make sure you use our upload service and the details of that are up on screen. Yeah, I'm on men, it'll get bored. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, just else, yeah. Love it. We've got some new stuff in the EMBN shop. Oh, new season release. Yeah, new season casual, got the new t shirts in there, hoodies, long sleeve t shirts, you name it, it is in the shop, as well as jerseys, shorts, socks everything to kick you out and looking as cool as... Not me. Yeah. Can we just get to that point, right, Chris? I haven't got any of the EMBN merch. Well, like, I'm on the, the EMBN show, oh, man. No, get in the shop and order some up. Get on oh. it. <laughs> get rid of all this GMBN tag. I think it should be sent to me. I don't think I should have to order it. It's just not fair. Anyway, if you want to get yourself some merch, it's a great way to support the channel and help us make the videos. Um, head over to the shop and get some probably just before me. <laughs> Coming up this week on EMBN, we've got a great week of content. As always, what we got on Friday, Mark? Uh, Friday, we are looking at the Spectrals, the 900 watt hour version and the 700 watt hour version. Comparing them, you know, like I guess it's going to be a lot to think about there. Different weights, different capabilities. Do we distance. even need those bigger batteries, maybe? Is 700 watt hours enough? Find out. Find out on Friday. And on Sunday, we've got a great video from Neil. He's actually built up a Kinevo SL as his dream build. Loads of cool parts on there. Mm. Is it the ultimate Kinevo SL? Build. Maybe tune in on Sunday to check that one out. I'll tell you what, I've seen it and it's pretty, pretty nice. bling, isn't it? Okay, here we go with Climb of the Week, and we've got one here from you, and I love this. We can't work out if it's self filmed or not, but he's gone to a lot of effort. But I tell you what, it's, it's a good watch. It is, and isn't he it? takes that bike up a massive slab 
that um, just shows how amazing e-bikes are, because that would be so hard to take on on a normal bike. Definitely, um, just brilliant. cruising up there, isn't it? He's got his Orbea Rise M10, so it isn't even a, a full-power bike as well, so it makes it even doubly impressive. He's out on Dundonell in Wester Ross in the UK, he found some slabs sort of an epic climb, and only really doable on an e-bike, then, as yeah. you mentioned, Mark. They do look pretty steep, don't they? Beautiful Loads spot. of grip going on, and uh, fair play if you definitely self-filmed all that as well. Yeah, nice riding you, and thanks for sending it in. And remember, you can always get involved in any part of the show by heading down to the uploader um, in the description below the video and send us some photos or some videos. Maybe you're going to do the climb of the week. What are you doing this week? May as well do that. It's time for the bike vault and we have got an absolute banger to start. Look at this Merida from Lassie. Lassie? Oh, this is in yeah. Norway or Lass, but Lassie, I'm going to say Lassie. Um, I love the colorway. I love the photo itself. I mean, it's not drive side, but I, I really like it. Doesn't matter on this shot. I think it's one of the best shots we've had on the bike vault yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, it's a got, super nice. Definitely. Next up, we've got Matthew. He's got a Trans X Pro. He's out in uh, New Zealand. Mm. Saturday morning shred, slipping and sliding on the wet clay tracks. Um, so it's a very grainy photo, and I, I don't know. I, it's nice. It's nice. It's busy, for me. isn't it? It's, it's busy, nice. and the colours of the yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Um, Next up, we've got a lovely Nikolai E-Box from Rainer. Um, I've not actually seen one of these in the flesh, Chris, but what do you think? I think they're great looking bikes, full of tech, loads of crazy sizes going on, uh, on with these bikes as well. But look at that reflection as well, it's the Saarberg Rhineland. It's a very nice shot. In the River Saar, smooth super, as a mirror. Super nice. Super nice, yeah, for sure. Um, next up, we have got Kelly's Structure Cycle Works. Now, these bikes are mad looking, but this one's even better because it's actually a bike for an adaptive rider. Um, so it's helping Kelly get out on the trails using, what motor is that? that Paradox. It's the Paradox oh, motor. Yeah. yeah. And I guess Kelly's running a battery on a backpack. Mm -hmm. Looks um, kind of like a Praia Mantis, this bike, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's a very like, interesting fork, looking bike. I, I remember looking at them at, um, Whistler, it's a very cool looking bike. That's got to be a super nice as well, I reckon. Yeah, super nice. Next up is John with his Trek Powerfly 5. He's out in Garth Mountain in Wales. 56 years old and getting frisky, apparently. Wales is older than that. It's a really nice looking bike. It um, is, isn't it? Hardtail Trek, that would have been a fun ride up there. Mm -hmm. What are you thinking, Chris? I think it's a nice. It's a nice. Sure. Nice ride, okay, sure. um, next up, I think I can excite you with Simon's Kinevo SL Works. This is uh, competing with Neil's one we've seen it upstairs. Is, isn't it? Same colour. Uh, what are you thinking? I, that's that's got to be a super nice. Neil, uh, sun peeking through the trees just like that. A bit of flare on the lens as well. Yeah. Um, I would say though, Blake Sampson would not accept the pedals not at three o'clock. And even though it's such a nice bike, it would not have got a super nice well, one. Dirt the shed, but you know. <laughs> Last up on the bike vault this week, we've got Giles's Da Vinci AC factory from Kettering. Mm. Nice spot in Kettering. Nice uh, spot. What are you thinking? It's quite a cool spot, isn't it? Out in the quarry, always love a bit of quarry action, don't we, on the EMBN. Hitting some massive, uh, Gap jumps as well. Big travel on this machine, coil shock at the rear. Nice looking sunset, sunset what, shot. What, what are you giving it? It's the last bike in the vault. We should probably end on a high. Should we say it's a sure super? Call. It's a super nice. It's a super nice for me. That is the end of the bike vault this week. Shame, I was enjoying that. That's good fun. It is the end of the show too, but as you mentioned earlier on, get involved. Any pictures or videos, anything you want to send us here at EMBN, use the upload service and details for that are down below the description. And get involved in the comments too. Let us know what you think about that new bike from Pivot. Is it the way forward or are we happy as we are? Ooh, who knows? Uh, remember, give us a like. Uh, it gets mountain biking out to more people. And we'll see you next week.